Cancer, welcome to your weekly love reading. I hope you guys are feeling wonderful this week. Um, although you're probably, you're probably feeling like just you're picking up on all of this energy. I mean, who isn't picking up on all this energy at the minute? This full moon, super full moon in Scorpio energy. And then this preparation for the Pluto retrograde. I mean, oh my gosh, like this has been affecting me for over a week now. Um, I would definitely check out guys check out where Pluto is in your chart just to know where this energy is going to be affecting you because I understand fully what is going on with these readings at the moment and why um, all the energy that I've been picking up on it's kind of very samey samey each week because there's a bit of a process that's going on and all these amazing new beginnings that I'm picking up on and all this exciting energy that's coming in, I'm feeling more so like this is going to be coming in after this Pluto retrograde. I understand more now what is kind of going on. Um, I found myself preparing for something for like a week and it's like I was going over all of the things I've been wanting to manifest, all of my lists, all of my notes, all of my journaling and it's like I've been doing the same like writing down the same manifestations for like the millionth time and I feel like that is just so if you're finding that you're doing that I feel like it's the universe just making sure that we are sure about what we want okay because we're going to be getting it we're going to be getting everything that we want and I feel like um with this Pluto retrograde it's like a corridor where anything that isn't necessarily alignment in alignment with the direction that we're going in and what we're wanting to manifest or anything that needs to kind of get sorted out to enable us to kind of step into that new kind of beginning that new um that new energy is going to be coming up so it does it's it's for me it feels like quite a healing time it feels like you know we've gone through this time where we've separated away from energy that we don't like or things that we're not happy with, we've stepped away, disconnected, we've cut a cycle, we've cut the feed, we've cut the energy feed, so it's being starved out. Now I feel like the time that we're going into right now is a time where we may come back together with these situations or these people, um, but, but we're going to be in new energy and it's going to be a lot more wiser, a lot more stable, a lot more balanced. It's going to be able to communicate better and bring in healing and bring in peace. So where we thought, you know, things have been, you know, done, it's done, it's finished. Okay, we've stepped away. I feel like there's going to be more of like we're, we're entering a time where peace is going to be brought in, where it's, there's not going to be any um rejection or fear or stay away from me or i don't want to talk to you ever again type of energy it's gonna we're gonna feel more empowered in ourselves um to be able to face certain energies but in a peaceful way because we have because we starved out that energy it's not continuing around it's had a breather does that make sense so i feel like i just wanted to kind of say that before i get started on your reading so like I can just explain what I'm kind of getting um, not just for your reading but through the zodiacs in general and the stage that we're kind of at here um, because I hate it you know when you hear the same thing every week as well and it's like oh well you've been talking I feel like some things especially for some signs it's like some energy I've been picking up on it, I've been picking up on this energy for a few months now and it's like, well, when is it coming in? But I feel like now I understand the process more and kind of when it's coming in. So for me, this year, August is a major, major month. Obviously, we've got Lionsgate in August, but this is like a, a, a huge portal for a new beginning here or initiation to a new beginning here. And then October as well. When I've when I've kind of done personal readings, I've really picked up on October being a major month, and it, it makes sense because this Pluto retrograde. Uh, I think this is finishing. This is I don't know if it's eleventh of October or if I've just made that up, um, but it's in October anyway. So definitely like October onwards, this is when I'm feeling all these new energies I've been picking up on are going to be coming in and going to be at play. All the exciting, really exciting stuff. But this 
energy right now is exciting as well because it's healing it's peacemakery but not peacemakery like you're going to fall into patterns because you're wiser than that now and you've got you've grown you've grew bigger than that energy because the circuit got cut off do you know what i mean so it's not the pattern was broken the program the pro you stepped away from the program so now there's like uh there's not necessarily attachment to it do you know what i mean but anyway i'm gonna stop waffling and i'm gonna literally crack on with your reading guys so cancer this is your love reading for the 26th of april to the 3rd of may um it's a general reading so please only take what messages resonate leave what don't feel free to check out your moon your rising and your venus signs for other messages pertaining to your to your love life if you do resonate with the reading please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments i'm really loving connecting with you guys in the comments um it's really nice to you know connect with people with like individuals who are watching these videos who you know are feeling this feeling this energy um not even just as a as, as a reader point of view but just me on my own journey it's really really nice um and yeah if you want to see more subscribe and hit the notification bell i'm going to be posting your monthly may general zodiac readings this week so if you want to be notified of when they're released then just hit that bell um and yeah let's get started guys for personal readings, there's links in the description box to my Etsy store, there's detailed descriptions and there's links to my other social media platforms as well, so feel free to check that out guys. So Cancer, the 26th of April to the 3rd of May, what is in store for you guys and your love life? cards are just not sliding let me just pull them over okay cancer recent past energy surrounding your love life present energy surrounding your love life near future energy surrounding your love life Energy guiding you. Something that you need to know. Your energy and your person's energy. Now this, I've got a message here and it might be nothing related to this reading. But for any cancers who have... Uh, detached from a person who was unfair to them or toxic to them or they were in toxic energy okay um if you have been in separation there is going to be uh, a justice okay now this is going to be very significant this is for those who have separated from somebody who hasn't they haven't learned a lesson they haven't learned a lesson and they didn't complete something with you as they should have and they may have had many opportunities to uh complete something or fulfill something and they haven't done it okay they haven't learned a lesson now the universe is going to step in and there is going to be a justice okay um so there's going to be some type of what should have been fulfilled by somebody towards you um what you should have gained from that will come to you but it will come to you through another situation okay you you just need to detach now from from that person and from that situation okay what is kind of what should what should have been fulfilled to you will be fulfilled the universe is going to fulfill it but it's going to be through a different situation and the person who didn't fulfill what they were supposed to fulfill is going to um, have a lesson, okay? That's a message here. Again, it might be nothing related to this, but I feel like this is a message that I'm getting uh, for some cancers. 
this is somebody that you have separated with in in the past could be recent past could be further back because i feel this person's had many opportunities given to them now to complete and fulfill something Bottom of the deck, we've got the three of pentacles. So this is amazing. Working upon something, building something, bringing something into fruition here in the physical. Some teamwork at play. Okay, Cancer, recent past energy, we have the seven of cups. So you have some... Op some opportunities here there was some situations some people different experiences there were some things that were explored things that were learned some choices maybe i'm feeling with this there was there was a period of time of wisdom gained there was some wisdom gained but there was also a period of time with this wisdom that was gained and I'm getting like, you know, like wine tasting. Yeah. So you're tasting what you like. So I feel like the universe is kind of giving you little tasters of what do you like? What do you want? What do you really want next? Do you like this? Do you like this? Do you want a bit of this? To kind of get you a taste for something. Okay. Some of you could have been dating a few people here to see who, who you like, you know, what sort of person you like. But this could be other things as well in your life. Different experiences. Present energy, Knight of Swords. So I feel like with here, you're learning about what you like and you're understanding what you like and you're going to go for what, you, what, what, what it is that you like here. You know what you want. You know what you want here. And I'm getting with this, I've been getting this energy all week as well, the unapologetic truth. The unapologetic truth. Being true about what you like and what you want. And standing in your truth here. And I feel like this is, this is you, you're standing in your truth. And it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter if that upsets other people or if it's, you know, contradictory to what other people want you to do or, you know, what other people want, okay? You're being true to you, yourself here. The energy guiding you is the hermit. Yeah, you're going within, you're knowing what you want. You're feeling confident as well in yourself, on your own. You, you know inside yourself what you want and you're not afraid to be on your own. You, you would rather not settle for something You'd rather be on your own than settle for something. That's what I'm looking... That's the words I'm looking for. Um, yeah, you'd rather... You're comfortable, yeah, and you would rather be on your own than settle for anything less than what you really want. This is very empowered energy I'm picking up from you. Something that you need to know for the week. We've got the Knight of Cups. Then you've got an offer coming in. Whether you want it or not, we'll soon see. But there's an offer coming in for you. I feel like it's going to be something that you want because you're very determined about what you want. You're very clear about what you want. And you're not settling. You're telling the universe you're not settling. You're not settling for anything less than what you want. You might have tried out a few cups here. But they might not have been really satisfactory for you or what, or quite exactly what you want. So you're quite happy to kind of go off and learn more about what you want. And you're not afraid. You don't, you don't feel codependent. You're not, you're independent here. There's this comfortability in being just you and, and moving forwards. And going for exactly what it is that you want. And you deserve it. Near future energy. We've got the Eight of Swords. There may You may feel a bit stuck or a bit confused in the near future. Could be with this Knight of Cups. This Knight of Cups may come in here. May throw you off a little bit. We'll see what, what this is about. Um, okay. Your person's energy is the Five of Cups. So they're feeling this loss. I feel like they really feel like they've lost you. Because you're just off on one. You're off on your journey. You're off here. 
you're not you're not settling you are not settling for anything less than what you want because it's what you deserve here this is honoring the south your person's feeling your absence they're feeling a loss person's a bit down feeling a bit you're independent if the person's feeling a bit codependent here but they're, so they're going to have a change as well. They're probably shedding that. They're probably purging out codependency because this is a, 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 this card for me is a card of change. It's positive, you know. It's letting go. It's clearing out the cupboard. And there's a lot of purgy sort of energy going on at the minute as well. So they're probably purging out, you know, codependent um, habits or, you know, energy that's inside of them. You this week are the seven of pentacles. Yeah, you've planted these seeds, you know what you want, you've been watering your own garden, and you're patient. You're able to wait for it. You're not in a rush. You know it's coming, you know you're going to get what you want. You know you're going to get out what you put in. So you know that if you settle for something less, it's not going to be what you really want, and it's not going to be as, as good as what it could be. So you're in amazing energy here. Okay, let's take a look here. At this Knight of Cups. What is this Knight of Cups? What is this Knight? There's a King of Cups there. What is this Knight of Cups, please? There's a two. Oh my God, look at this, guys. There's a King of Cups and there's a Two of Cups. There's somebody coming in to make an offer. This person's probably, uh, what do you call it? Um... They're having a premonition already. <laughs> I'm joking, not really. No, they're not really, they're purging. Um, okay, so this Knight of Cups. Tell us about this Knight of Cups. So somebody is thinking about you. Okay, somebody wants to move forwards to you. But they haven't yet. Something's holding them back. There's a separation here, but they want to communicate and move forwards. They're being held back. The universe is not letting them come forwards just yet. They need to understand something. They need to see something. What is that? What? Why have they not come forwards yet? Why can they not come forwards? They can't. Okay, they need. They've got some. There's some new sort of idea or inspiration or something is coming to them. There is the Queen of wands is bringing in an ace of wands for this person before they can move forwards towards you they they've got to evolve from a knight of cups into a king of cups okay how are they going to be doing that oh okay they're going to go through some sort of transformation in their physical world to do with the way they operate or something that they have in the physical that is not in alignment with what they they need they're purging they need to let go of something i think this person's this person here they're purging something out they, this is guided they're balancing something out they're purging something out they're transforming something because they're operating in a specific way or they're holding something in their life or they're holding up some sort of structure or some sort of pattern or some sort of way of being that is kind of not in alignment with what they what they're kind of wanting emotionally they're not in alignment here so they can't come forwards until they're in alignment but they can't stop thinking about you and they're in this process at the moment so this could be this person they're feeling an emotional loss because they're staying stuck in a specific situation to do with their physical world and what they've built up that is no longer in alignment with kind of what their heart wants, but they've got attachments to it. Um, so they're suffering emotionally. So until they actually make movements and take steps towards changing what they're attached to, they're going to feel emotionally uh, drained or they're going to be purging out emotions, I feel like it's like codependent emotions but they're code they're they're being like here they're expressing emotional codependency because they're physically 
dependent on something that they have or something that they built for themselves something that is already in place for them some type of security some type of stability some type of abundance or something that makes them feel abundant or stable but it's not it's not in alignment with um with this love that they feel for you or something you know they could for example they could be in a marriage but they're not they're not happy in that or you know but they're in this dynamic that they've built up and they're you know they're, there's stability in that and they've got a lot of material abundance with this person and they know the routine and they know how it works in that you know it's they don't have to think about it they're not at risk because everything's been built up but then emotionally they could be in love with you but to move forwards towards you, they'd have to let go of this marriage. Do you know what I mean? Something like that. Or it could be a business, you know, where they're really focused on their business and they're, they, you know, they're, they're working on that. But they, they may, for example, they may produce like a load of like leather goods and you're a vegan and you're really not. Well, they could have like an abattoirs and you're a vegan or something and they're not into, you know, you're not into what they're doing and it's not in alignment with you and you're like no no you know that's not what I believe in and but that makes that that maybe make them a lot of money and then they're going to need to choose okay well I built this up and this is kind of what I built for myself and I make a lot of money I don't really care what it is but you know it's given me this life do I want that more than I want this person? Do you know what I mean? I feel like there's that sort of thing that's coming up here. See what your person wants to say. Okay. Person wants something. Your person is wishing for something. Person is feeling this five of pentacles as well. Person is wishing and hoping. Your person is wishing and hoping. But they're also still working upon something that they're working on something they've already been working on for a long time. There's a new offer, an opportunity available for them, but they're not in alignment. They're not in alignment because they're still feeding something. They're still feeding something that isn't in alignment here. They're getting frustrated. They need to move forwards and with with their mindset here, they need to like, understand something what is going to happen with this person what what is the universe going to do here so there's a queen of pentacles there and i don't even know whether to take this up or down i'm going to put this one back in because i don't even this queen of pentacles is somebody that they're connected with that i feel is attached to the lifestyle that they have been providing for this queen of pentacles this may be somebody in their external or this could be their feminine energy that they embody um there is a lot of love here there is a connection here they're the king of pentacles they've established something that there is a um there is a union there with this person they're going to learn something with this person. They're going to master something. They're going to learn what they needed to learn, but they're going to learn with with this person. Or they're, even if they're not with somebody, there could be somebody like a female friend or somebody that comes in who, who um, represents their feminine energy that might teach them things about their feminine energy um an attachment they might end up going they're, they're gonna learn things basically and i feel like they may end up uh feeling repelled even from this feminine energy to the point but not in a, in a really horrible negative way because i feel like it's very loving energy but they'll feel repelled by that inspiration and that will enable them to change and be open to new feminine inspiration which will then give new instruction to their masculine which will help them to detach and stop giving 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 to this old structure or this old habit or this old cycle whatever it is that they've built up that they're attached to what is the queen of pentacles going to do the 
Queen of Pentacles is going to commit more. I don't know if this Queen, of, there's going to be some happiness that is brought in here. This Queen of Pentacles has got something here um, that they're doing, that they are bringing in some type of love. They might be fulfilling a contract. This Queen of Pentacles might be fulfilling a contract with this person, okay, to complete a lesson here. Because this Queen of Pentacles isn't going to run your person in in the ground they're not going to run them down into the ground you know um they're going to do something more loving but what is going to be the results of this it's going to result in your person letting go of burdens that they've been carrying and there's going to be some healing that comes in so that what's that going to do it's going to help your person to move on and move forwards. So this sounds a bit bizarre because, it, well, it's going to be done with love, basically. Your person is going to be taught how to let go, but with love um, and appreciation and gratitude. And then I feel they'll be able to come towards you. You're the Nine of Swords in the near future. Or there's this Nine of Swords in the near future. This is going to be about letting go, not knowing whether to let go and have a complete like change you may be holding out for something so with this with this determination like not settle in here you've got your mind set on um you've got your mind set on something but here you might learn a bit of flexibility you might let go of that attachment for a bit and be open to the universe to bring something in for you you might be open and receive something there could be a big change that comes up okay so this is you learning to work with the universe. Yes, you're not going to settle. You're not going to consciously settle for anything that you don't want. But this is also being open to the universe to, for, to allow gifts to come in. And it looks like somebody else might come in and work with you as well here. Um, there's a change. Okay, yeah, you're not going to sit around. You're not going to sit around and wait for this person because this person's going to have a bit of a journey here. They're going to be having to learn something. It looks like they're going to be learning it with somebody else. But it's this is like something that is going to be completed to help free them from a specific pattern and mindset, which is then going to enable them to come and step towards you. So in the meantime, you're going to be doing something else. You're going to be a kind of uh taking what's that word called taking a detour okay you're going to be detouring and having another experience and what is this experience going to entail okay you're going to be moving forward you might be actually going somewhere and you're going to be learning how to receive love you're going to be preparing to receive and learning how to receive. This doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. This could be a masculine energy that is supportive to you. It could be many masculine energies that are supportive to you. But it's going to help you. Um, it's going to help you to. It's like reconditioning you to to be able to receive love. Okay. So you're going to be able to. You're going to be learning how to receive love and support. Because I feel like maybe you haven't received much love and support from masculine energy before, or or recently there's not been so much love and support from a mas from the masculine energy. So here you're going to learn how to um, receive that. Your person might actually learn how to receive appreciation and gratitude. Okay, because it looks like you might be doing a similar thing, but on different sides. Do you know what I mean? But this again, what you're doing is preparation to be able to receive exactly what you want. Because even here with these offers that may not have been what you want, you might have rejected them all. But I feel that the universe doesn't want you to then get into a habit of not being able to receive. Okay, so I feel like you're going to go into this, this kind of journey of receiving, being supported being offered love um, and being able to receive it. You are the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you're just patient. You, yeah, you just, you know, you know what you want. 
you're very connected this full moon is going to be a big one for you you're very connected with your feminine energy you're moving forwards you, honestly this um this little detour that you're going to be doing is very exciting don't be stressed out about it it's exciting it's just going to teach you how to receive that's what that's what it's going to do and don't be stressed out if you are if you have got your heart set on someone and you're in separation and they're maybe they're connected with somebody else maybe they're not and this could be like another person that's just coming in to help them maybe they're single but if they are connected with somebody else i wouldn't feel jealous or anything like that i would literally just understand that this person is working with this other person they're gonna there's gonna there is gonna be a lot of love offered to this person in the physical but it's to help them feel appreciated and feel valuable okay and there's something there's a lesson here to help them complete a certain experience complete a certain lesson and then the, i feel like they're going to be stepping towards you they're going to be because they feel they feel you they're emotionally they they love you they love you but there's these attachments there's these things that have been built up in their physical okay and they've got to work through them they've got to work through them so yeah this is kind of what i've got guys Let's get some oracle cards and then I'll close that up. Just trust that this is all for you. These are like stages, basically. Um, and... Even for those of you who haven't even... If, if I'm reading and there's somebody that you haven't met yet but you've got this idea of the sort of person this is a preparation to meet this person and this person feels the same way as you they've got a specific person in mind you know like they've got this kind of idea this ideal okay and they're not with that emotional ideal but they've built up a relationship in the physical okay but it's different to what they really want in somebody do you know what i mean so it's like if you haven't met then you're both kind of wanting the same thing but it's about getting to that point of being able to uh meet each other and work together effectively but for a lot of you this is somebody and you're in separation with them okay so Cancer, what messages do we have for Cancer please? We're 26th of April to the 3rd of May regarding their love life. Wow. Yes. And this is you. This is what you're going to be receiving. You're going to be understanding your worth. Same as this person is going to be understanding that they're appreciated. You're going to be understanding your worth here. You could actually have some financial abundance coming in as well because receiving love like venus rules love and money so receiving love you could also be receiving money as well we've got here angel of love yeah love and money oh my god venus is doing a lot venus is literally doing a lot venus is in taurus now i think or maybe that was just the other day i can't remember i don't really keep track of all the astrology but this uh is obviously major energy for you and yeah expect abundance in money as well as love expect so again you want to be learning how to receive you want to be open and receiving what the universe is bringing for you here because not only is it going to bring some love it's going to bring some material wealth as well here for you um okay romance angels romance angels what do we have for cancer for the 26th of May, uh, April <laughs> to the 3rd of May. What do we have? Make the effort. Yeah, this is for you. Make the effort. Be open. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Yeah, these are steps. This isn't the, a the end final goal. This isn't the end final project that product product yeah this isn't like oh, okay i'm going to accept this now and this is I, th I think there might be maybe a little bit of a like a fear of oh my god okay if i accept this this is what i'm going to end up with this is what i'm going to have forever 
and you've got your you've got a goal in mind like um a vision in mind and it might be slightly different to this this is a step this is a stage to get what you want okay this isn't be all or end all energy this is an offering a gift make the effort and be open to it definitely definitely here so this is what i've got for you cancer let me know if that resonates and have a wonderful week guys